Hey everybody, it's Sam, and today I'm going to be kind of doing a haul, kind of a school supplies video, um, except for kind of the reason I'm saying a haul, kind of a school supplies video, is because I, bu I bought my school supplies a few weeks ago, because I'm just like one of those person people that are like, once school supplies is on sale, I get it. And because my school doesn't start until September, yeah. I don't start till September 6th, um, and everybody else around here starts in August and everything else, so I, like, when I get my school supplies, when it's, like, all the new stuff are out, then closer to the end of August when everybody already started and they bought it and then I get leftovers. Um, and like I said, the reason that I was, that I said kind of a school supplies video haul thing is because as soon as I get my school supplies I always feel like I have to organize it like put it all together for my dividers inside of my binders and all that stuff so I'm going to show you kind of what I got and kind of how I organized all my binders and stuff so far and sorry about my hair um I washed it today and just kind of left it let it air dry and it's kind of a mess so let's Put this part back, I guess. Alright, that's that. Not as much of a distraction to me, because I can really see myself right now. It's not that much of a distraction to me trying to fix my hair. Alright, so let's get started. So, um, like I said, I put all this stuff together, and this is kind of what I'm taking on my first day of school. Um, first thing is first, I bought a locker shelf for my locker. But that's kind of what my laptop is sitting on because I'm sitting on the floor. And then I have another one over here from last year. So I'm going to be taking that one too so I can just take two locker shelves and stack them. They're both lime green. Um, they're different shades of green though. So, yeah. Alright. And as well as this being a school supplies haul, it's going to be kind of some of the things I guess I'm taking for school either to have there or anything else. I'm actually going to do another video on what to take to school to keep the school like stuff to just keep in your locker or things that I always keep in my locker. So the first thing which is sitting on top of everything are just the magazines. I always like to eat magazines to school because during our free time um, I'll sit there and I'll take magazines. I will find stuff in here while I'm bored in class and I finished everything. I usually carry a magazine either with any of my books or in my purse or whatever, um, I'll like go through and be like, oh hey, I like the look that that girl's wearing, or just to say something. Um, like, oh, I like her makeup in this video, I think I'll do a tutorial, or stuff like that, and I kind of just mark it, and it just gives me time, or it just gives me something to do during class, I can find stuff to do videos and whatnot. So, I always keep magazines with me and take them to school with me. Um... Then the next thing, which is just randomly sitting over here, I have a little red stapler. This was from last year, but last year I bought two because I bought one planning to have keep one at home and one for my locker. I ended up not even using the red one, so I just opened it when I bought all my school supplies to put in my pencil pouch or with everything else. So it's magnetic, so I can put it on my... Um, locker and this bracelet is really bugging me because it's like ripping apart. Alright. And then so for binders and stuff I have I uh, this is one of the binders. I got four binders. I usually because usually during school we have like to have keep one in one class take this to a certain class and like it can only be for that class and then just one main one overall and so on and I always like to have an extra because by halfway through the year the one I'm constantly using is beat up and it's ripping apart and so I just need a new one to have with me so this is one of the ones I bought I it's a flower one with a butterfly I just kind of bought it because it's pretty I wanted a decorated binder the only thing that kind of makes me mad is how the dividers I bought are a little too big and it kind of sticks out of here. I mean, in a way, it could be easier depending on what class I'm using this for. But inside, it has a pocket. And then I put 
notebook paper in it, and dividers. So overall, all my folders have notebook paper and dividers. I just got the colorful rainbow dividers and took the little pieces of paper and put it in there because I don't print out the things for each class. I just find that a waste of time, a waste of ink, blah, 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 when I can just write them down with a marker, a sharpie. Um, so I already have the papers in here. Once school starts, I pull it out, write what I need when I know what it should be labeled, and that's how I do it. Um, next is a purple binder I got. This is just a durable, easy turning binder um, in purple. I bought two regular binders and two decorated binders because the decorated ones never seem to have that little part when you open it. It never seems to have that little part right here that just goes in the middle and it's like has no rings like these. How these have this little thing right here, this part, so it just folds over and your papers don't get caught in it. Um, and depending on what class it is, if it's a class I have to have a ton of papers for, chances are I'll be using one of these. But I have notebook paper again in it and dividers. Um, the reason these dividers are different are because they're only five. Usually I get the div packs with the most dividers, but since I had only bought in two packs of dividers, my sister had bought in three packs and she only needed one. Don't know how that turned out. She just gave me one of her packs, um, which she only got the ones with five. So, yeah. Then this is the binder I chose to be my main binder for school because it's a decorated binder and I always choose my main one to be a decorated one or a really pretty one, like a pretty color. So this is a one and a half inch and it's a decorated one and the reason I would use this as my like everyday binder is because I usually have things in the very front of it that will keep papers from getting caught in it. So in this binder I already put my book covers because we usually need book covers even in high school. I, even if we don't need them, I like to have them to cover my books. It makes my books look nicer and I don't mess them up. Um, so I have book covers. I have a flowerish heart one with random stuff in a stripe one. Because I usually like getting the decorated one. And I think I shouldn't put that in the pocket where it can start to pocket. Then I have a ruler slash hole puncher because I get lazy in the middle of class when she's like, okay, you can go get up and hole punch this and put it in your binder. I get lazy so I bought this to have a hole puncher in my binder so I can just be at my desk and hole punch my paper. I don't even have to get up. Then in it I have a composition notebook, just a regular composition notebook. We actually bought two boxes of these um, because they were only like 15 cents each and my dad uses them, my sister uses them um, just for other things. I like to use them to write in, and they're only 15 cents each. I think all together we only paid four dollars, maybe like no more than ten dollars. That's a good from four to ten, but no more than ten dollars for like two boxes, like two full boxes of them. Then I have this graph paper notebook, which has graph paper. Obviously, because I'm taking geometry and other math courses this year. I have notebook paper. I have dividers. And, of course, I picked the pretty dividers for my folder to have, like, my main binder. And then I have a homework folder just to keep my main paper. And it's just a sparkly folder. Um, I, did, I haven't bought all my school stuff because I still need to buy, it, like, folders with prongs in them for school but I don't have them yet because when we went to Walmart I decided I wanted to go to Target and get some there so I didn't get them at Walmart then we went to Meyer, and that's where I bought mainly like the rest of my stuff and then I decided I didn't want it um or like and then I was like oh that is way too much to pay for it so, then I just decided I would get it some other time that we were out. Um, the next binder I bought was just this blue one. I took the top, or the front thing out, but it's one of the two-tone binders. Um, 
the one inch and like I said I buy two regular and two decorated. Now I have a ton of extra notebook paper that was left over the pack when I split it through here. I have a little tab thing to put into the dividers. I have notebook paper I actually put into this and dividers. Like I said, this is one of the packs I bought because it has more than five. And there's the other color. So lonely. So that is the binder I got. Two colors. Do the back. Two colors. Then I bought another graph notebook because they were really cheap. And usually I always have to end up in the middle of school year, oh hey, I need a graph notebook just because it's so much easier. I don't like taking the teachers paper all the time. I like to have my own stuff because enough kids go up and go, oh, I need paper and all this and that. So I was just like, okay, you know, I'm just going to get my own. Um, I bought two packs of college word paper. I got this for my other pack. Like I said, I divided it through there. Um, I already have some packs at home from the past years when we bought an extra. So I didn't really buy a ton of them. And then I just grabbed some um, composition notebooks from the actual, from the box to take with me. So I have this plaid-ish kind of one. A yellow one, a green one, circles, I already have one, a stripe one, and a blue one. Then I have my calculator, which just is last year's. I mean, if I find no need to pay another 14 bucks, buy another one when this one works completely fine. Um, this is the one we've been using for every past year, even though, for those of you that don't know, I'm going into ninth grade this year, so I don't know if we're going to need that, or if we're going to need a graphing calculator, or what, but I'm, I'm just going to use the one I have from the left or past, or from the past year, because why buy a new one and then not be the one I need? Um, then I have a pack of pens. Like I said, I like to open my stuff and organize it. So I bought um a ton of colored pens and whatnot. Well, it's just red, black, and blue. And then a pack of 24 mechanical pencils for me and my sister to split and share. Um, these pens actually are supposed to be hers. So she actually needs to have that. Oh, okay. Um, so she actually needs to have that with all her stuff because I still have to buy mine since I don't really use those. I use colorful pens because they're the ones I usually use the most. I only have like one blue, one red, and one black of these that I just took from her and the rest are hers. Because like I said, I didn't finish buying my stuff. I still need to get pens. So then I got Sharpie markers, um, Sharpie permanent markers because... I need these for school. I was done needing them. And then I bought a pack of markers. Just for projects and stuff. I can just use them when I need them. I got a little locker cup thing. Um, I have a pink one over there, but it's stuck to my bulletin board. My bulletin dry erase board. And I bought two packs of post-it notes. Um, this is actually mine. It's my sister's actually. She decided to open hers. Like, she completely opened everything. And she took her color pencils out of her pack and everything. It was just thrown all around her room. I was like, okay. So, post it notes, which is a cube that comes with purple, blue, lime green, orange, and pink. And then mine's still in the little pack. Yeah. Alright. And then, so, yeah. So that is what I bought, and for my pencil pouch, whatever, um, which is right here, I'm going to do a separate video right after this. So keep watching, or go look for the next one, and you'll, I guess, find that one. So thank you guys for watching, and bye.